हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द प्रॉब्लम ओनली ओके सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज एनालाइज द रेंज ऑफ के फॉर क्लोज लुप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन गिवन दिस के डिवाइडेड बाई एस इन टू एस प्लस टू इन टू एस स्क्वायर प्लस एस प्लस वन प्लस के इज स्टेबल यूजिंग आर एच क्राइटेरिया एंड ऑल्सो दे हैव गिवन फॉर वॉट वैल्यू ऑफ के द सिस्टम ऑसिलेट्स एंड वॉट इज द करस्पॉन्डिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑसिलेशन ओके सो वी नीड टू बी फाइंडिंग द रेंज ऑफ के the marginal value of k that is for what value of k they have wants so we need to finding the marginal value as well as the corresponding frequency of oscillations okay so yeah let's let's try to solve this okay so first given write the transfer function c of s by r of s that is k by s into s plus 2 into s square plus s plus 1 into plus k so that's equal to k by multiply this so s square plus 2s into s square plus s plus 1 plus k okay that is k by so multiply 1 by 1 that is s square s square into s square is s power 4 s square into s is s cube s square into 1 is s square plus 2s cube 2s into s square is 2s cube plus 2s square plus 2s Plus k, so therefore our final transfer function which we are getting is k divided by s power four plus s cube and two s cube, so plus three s cube plus s square and two s square is three s square plus two s plus k. Okay, so this from this way after simplifying this term we have got one uh, simple transfer function. So now using this transfer function. Uh, that the characteristic equation that is we know that characteristic equation always the denominator of transfer function that is s power 4 plus 3s cube plus 3s square plus 2s plus k equal to 0 yeah so this is the transfer function so now for this transfer function apply the raut array okay so apply the raut array start writing the raut array now Starting from s power four, s cube, s square, up to s power zero. So first write the coefficient of s power four, that is one. Skip one term, that is uh, write the coefficient of s square, that is three. Skip one term, and the co coefficient of s power zero is k. Okay. Then uh, for coefficient of s cube is three. Skip one term. Coefficient of s is two. Skip one term. Since no term, so it is zero again. So using these two rows, uh, calculate the coefficients of s square now. That is three into three minus one into two. Three threes are nine. Minus one twos are two by three. That is nine minus two by three. That's equal to seven by three. So here we need to be writing seven by three. Okay. And here three into k. That is three k. And one into zero is zero by three. So that is three k by three. So here we are getting k. So here write it as k. Again here it is zero. Since we don't have any terms, so it is zero. So seven by three. So calculate the next row elements. That is seven by three into two minus three k divided by seven by three. That is fourteen minus nine k by seven. Okay. So this three and three would be getting cancelled after taking the LCM, right? So we are getting fourteen minus nine k by seven here. Okay, and here this term is again zero, and again if we multiply this term into this term minus seven uh, by three into zero, since seven by three into zero is zero, divided by the same denominator this one, right? So we can cancel denominator along with this term in the numerator, so we would be left with only k. So that's why I've written it as k. Okay. So now we have written the raut array. So now firstly let's find the range of k. In order to find the marginal value of k. First, uh, consider this last element. That is, we know that one condition we have seen, right? This uh, s power zero last term, whenever we get k, it should always be equal. It should always be greater than zero, right? And also, for marginal value of k, there must be one row of zeros, right? For that, k is equal to k margin. So first, find the range of k. So k, consider this uh, upper row that is 14 minus 9k by 7 is also greater than zero. So 14 minus 9k. If we take this zero to other side, it is again zero. So 
is greater than 9k if you bring this minus 9k to that side it is 14 is greater than 9k so 14 by 9 is greater than k so therefore uh, 14 by 9 is 1.55 is greater than k okay so we got one condition that 1.55 is greater than k so we can say that the range of k lies between 0 to 1.55 okay since here 1.55 is greater than k okay so we can say that if 1.55 is greater than k so we can say that k should be less than 1.55 so therefore this is the range of k which we have obtained that is k lies between 0 to 1.55 so now for k is equal to k margin we would be getting one marginal value right that is for k equal to k m a r what we would be getting 14 minus 9 k m uh, k we have taken k right since k equal to k margin so 14 minus 9 k margin divided by 7 so in, instead of greater than 0 we need to be equating it to 0 we, so uh, because we know that whenever we want to obtain any marginal value whenever we want to obtain any marginal value we know that we must have a row of zeros right but in this row array we have this term here for k is equal to k margin okay if we equate this whole term to 0 so this would be one row of 0 right so that's why i have written 14 minus 9 k margin by 7 equal to 0 so now using this uh, calcul uh, cal equation you can solve for k margin that is 14 minus 9 k margin if you bring the 7 to other side that is again 0 0 into 7 is 0 so 14 is equal to 9 into k margin so therefore k margin answer which you are getting is again 14 by 9 that is k margin is equal to 1.55 so this is the marginal value of k for this value of k the system would uh, oscillate so therefore we can write therefore system oscillates at k equal to 1.55 also they have now they also told, told us to find the corresponding frequency of oscillation okay for that what we need to be doing is since we have a row of zeros because k margin we have equated to zero first con so now consider the auxiliary equation above this row of zero that is 7 by 3 s square plus k that is 7 by auxiliary equation 7 by 3 s square plus k where k equal to k margin right so write directly k margin equal to zero now 7 by 3 if we solve it is 2.33 s square plus k margin just now we have got it as 1.55 equal to 0 so now solve this equation to get the answer for in terms of s that is 2.33 s square is equal to minus 1.55 so s square is equal to minus 1.55 divided by 2.33 s square would be getting it as if we solve this we would be getting as minus 0 0.665 therefore s is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 0 0.665 so s is equal to plus or minus since we have a minus here so our we would be having one imaginary term j or i both are same so and the square root of 0.665 is 0 0.815 so this is the answer which we get for j since this is of the form of s is equal to plus or minus j omega right if we compare this equation with this equation so in place of j this is the value of omega that is omega so omega answer which you are getting is 0 0.815 radians per second okay so this is the value of omega here which we've got in place of omega we have 0 0.815 right so this is the corresponding frequency of oscillation of oscillation which we are getting for this question so that's all this question so please try to understand this question so we would be solving one more problem now so this is the next question that is the given system oscillates with frequency here they have given the frequency value that is directly they have given first only the value of frequency that is 2 radian per second we need to find the value of uh, marginal value of k that is kmr and also we need to find the value of p okay and here one condition they have given it as the number of poles are in rhs okay so now what we need to be doing here is we need to be finding the marginal value of k and p and also they have given a simple block diagram here that is it has a gain path of 
g of s is equal to k into s plus 1 divided by s cube plus p s square plus 2 s plus 1 and one unity feedback system is h of s is equal to 1. So first thing what we need to be doing is we need to be finding the characteristic equation in order to write the route array. Okay. For that we know the formula for transfer function that is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s right but here in this case in order to find the characteristic equation we need to be checking the denominator of the transfer function right so we don't need to calculate the whole transfer function here just consider the denominator part that is 1 plus g of s into h of s okay so now for this you try to solve that is 1 plus g of s is this that is k into s plus 1 divided by s cube plus p s square plus 2 s plus 1 into 1 so now solve this so take the lcm that is s cube plus p s square plus 2 s plus 1 plus k s plus k i have multiplied this it will be k s plus k is equal to 0 ok so this is the characteristic equation obtained we can further simplify it by writing it as s cube plus uh, p s square plus we have 2 s and k s right s is common so we can take it common and write it as 2 plus k into s plus k plus 1 since these both are also constant so we can uh, write it together as k plus 1 as a single constant this is equal to 0 so this is the required uh, characteristic equation now So now for this characteristic equation, try to write the route array s cube s square s power 1 s power 0 coefficient of s cube is 1 skip one term and coefficient of s is 2 plus k skip one term no term, no term there is so 0 coefficient of s square is p coefficient of s power 0 is k plus 1 and 0 ok so now try to solve this cross multiply that is p into 2 plus k minus k plus 1 divided by p so that is 2p plus kp minus k plus 1 divided by p so here p is common you can take p into 2 plus k minus of k plus 1 right divided by p ok so now in this this term we need to be writing here that is p into 2 plus k minus of k plus 1 divided by p ok and here the, the second element is 0 third is also 0 so now here if you cross multiply and solve it since uh, 0 into p is 0 so again the same thing we can cancel this term whole out in the numerator as well as denominator you would be left out with only this term so write that k plus 1 equal to 0 so now again so we know that uh, here also we have got your last term as k plus 1 this should be strictly greater than 0 right so here what we will be getting on condition that k is equal k is greater than k is greater than if you bring this plus 1 to other side it is minus 1 ok from here we will be getting the range of k here ok that is uh, k is greater than minus 1 so now again in place of uh, k in order to find the ma marginal value what we need to be doing is we need to be replacing k by k mark in this equation in order to make this a complete row of zeros so now what we are doing is p into 2 plus k margin in place of k write k margin minus of k margin plus 1 divided by p equal to 0 so now try to solve this this if it goes here it would be 0 so p into 2 plus k margin minus of k margin plus 1 equal to 0 so now what we will be getting p into 2 plus k margin and bring this whole term to the other side that would be plus k margin plus 1 so our final p value if we try to calculate p value what we will be getting k margin plus 1 divided by k margin plus 2 ok so this is one equation which we have got for p ok so name this as equation 1 
okay so now in order to in order to get the value of p now we need to be finding the value of k margin okay so we can find the value of k margin by using the auxiliary equation now okay the auxiliary equation is uh, the just equal the row above the row of zeros here since this is zero so zero row right so above the row of zero is p s square plus k margin plus one so that is our auxiliary equation we can take it as p s square plus k plus one so this is k margin plus one since k is equal to k margin equal to zero so now bring this p s square to one side is equal to this whole term would be minus of k margin plus one because this is a single term right and s square is equal to minus of k margin plus one divided by p okay bring this p to other side so now s is equal to plus or minus since we have minus sign here so we would be getting one imaginary term j and square root of k margin plus one by p okay so here in this place uh, in place of omega what we are having this term right plus or minus j omega if we compare this with s is equal to plus or minus j omega in place of omega what we are having square root of k margin plus one by p right and also this relation we have got it now but if you observe in the question they have already given the value of frequency as two radian per second right so now in this equation substitute the value of omega as 2 is equal to square root of k margin plus 1 by p okay and now since we have written one equation for p here substitute this uh, p value in this equation that is put equation 1 in uh, name this as equation 2 okay so now what we will be getting 2 is equal to square root of k margin plus 1 divided by k margin plus 1 by k margin plus 2 right so if we bring this term to the numerator what we will be getting k margin plus 1 if we bring this term denominator to the numerator term the residue should be interchanged so this would be coming first now k margin plus 2 by k margin plus 1 right so now we can cancel these two terms we are left with 2 is equal to square root of k margin plus 2 so now in, in order to take this square root we can take squares on both sides so this 2 square is equal to k margin plus 2 the whole square so we can cancel this root and square 2 square is 4 so k margin plus 2 therefore our k margin value we are getting it as 4 minus 2 so the marginal value of k is equal to 2 here okay so like this we need to be solving so now the problem is not done yet so now equation 1 what would be become p is equal to k margin value is 2 here so in place of k margin right 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 2 so p is equal to 3 by 4 or we can say p is equal to 0.75 so this is the value of p so here we have found the value of k margin as well as p in this question so that's all for this session hope you have understood this problem please like share subscribe and also you can refer our playlist which would be appearing on the right of your screen now we have solved all the model paper solutions for all the subjects so please do refer that as well that's all thank you